What up, y'all? It's your boy Nick Nieto, aka Nick the Actor, aka Nick the Reactor, aka whatever the hell you want to call me today. Just go for it. Lord Almighty. Lord help us. Whatever gods that powers that be, help us. We'll see how long this video even lasts with fact checkers running around and all that stuff nowadays, but it's Tom McDonald Tuesday. Hog fam, I know y'all are here. What's up, y'all? Much love, as always. Now, I know there's a lot of other Tom songs that people wanted me to react to first, but... Tom McDonald Coronavirus. It looks like this song was actually one of his most popular songs to date, as far as views go. It's got a music video, it looks like, but it was made a year ago. And I... Knowing Tom... Knowing Tom, he's he's going to be saying some things. I'm. It makes me surprised this video is still up, and I haven't even watched it. I can only imagine. But I feel like I want to check this one out before some of the other ones, while this is still relevant. I'm sure he's going to be making a lot of very interesting statements on this one. And it'll be interesting to see how much things have changed from, I think, March of last year to now. So, uh, we'll see what's going on with it, man. But I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you guys are excited to check this one out with me. I want to go straight into this again. I might have to start using words like allegedly and all this goofiness. Um, I might share some thoughts on different things. I have no idea what it's really going to be about. But but as always, if you're going to get offended or butthurt about something I might say or go up in arms about it, then just click off the channel. Save yourself the time. No big deal. I just want to I want to see what he's speaking. I'm sure it's speaking some truth. And uh, let's get our little Tuesday dose of Mr. Tom McDonald. As always, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this one with me. Hey, I see him with the mask on already. Tom McDonald. Coronavirus. I don't know what to think about this virus. Started in China, now everybody in America's hiding. There's no groceries because people start to panic and buy it. The shelves are empty, the ones with plenty already stockpiling. Y'all make it. Mm, 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 mm. Yep, that's how it was at that point, March or whenever it was last year, very beginning. Everybody freaking out, grabbing shit, the people who had plenty are stockpiling and a madness. Now, Tom, I don't know why you're grocery shopping at Target. We're going to talk about that later. <laughs> Who's there grocery shopping at Target? All jokes aside, though, that's that was the original that feeling of like, you know, this started out here, but now it's like, wow, it's got everybody else acting crazy, not just because of the sickness, but other ways, too. I don't know what to think about this virus Started in China, now everybody in America's hiding There's no groceries, cause people start to panic and buy it The shelves are empty, the ones with plenty already stockpiling Y'all making memes, think it's funny? Wait a week till the riots Wait a month till the only way to eat is be violent It's not the sickness, is scary It's all the people who while in the government lying They trying to keep us calm through the sirens, you know it Woo, they're trying to keep us calm through the sirens of the government lying And then he's talking about how, you know, y'all making memes, y'all joking about it And at that point, like, it was more funny stuff going on than like Oh wow, this is actually going to be a long-term thing even. But once again, it's interesting some of the way some of these things play out. That's all I'm going to say. I mean, everybody's entitled to their opinions on where it's from, what caused it, the impacts, how legit some of this was. But the point he's making is that everybody was posting memes. It's all fun and games till you think about all the riots and stuff that would happen and would actually happen. Tom was right. Tom called it. That's interesting. Tom knows what he's talking about. The, the, some of the, the woke ones, the real woke ones, all saw this shit coming. Keep us calm through the sirens, you know it's for real And all the pharmaceutical giants don't have a cure that they can sell you So now everyone's dying There's no vaccines or medication made that can fight it I guess it's time to pray to God we can't rely on the science And everyone... Mm. It's time to pray to God we can't rely on the science Damn, that's a powerful line That's a powerful line, but yeah, that's, that's some shit I mean, they don't care if you're dying just because they don't have it But I, I love that line, wow, that's a good one Rely on the science and everyone around me in a mask and some gloves The stock market crashed and the bank's about to bust Tell us sanitize our hands, this will pass It's a bug, stay inside, you'll be fine Till we're trapped there for months It's a go Tom, where are you hiding the time machine, dog? Tom Where are you hiding the time machine? Let me hop in it sometime Bro, he knew, he called it, he called it And it wasn't just Tom who said that he knew it was going to he's like oh it's you know funny games now wait till you're inside for months one year later here we are here we are wow trapped her for months it's a ghost town we're in this together they're closing all the stores down we're heading for shelter it's all
this a pandemic? Well, I will say, I mean, I guess I don't know if that's supposed to be like, hey, let's stick together, or he's maybe making a mockery of it. But um, either way, yeah, there is there was kind of a sense of both sides of that where you'd like people to be sticking together more, but there was also a lot of signs of that of that happening. Like you saw it all over the place, people trying to look out for each other. Everybody wants the best, kind of, for the mass population, even if it's maybe more so greedy than an outward kind of act of kindness to do all these things, but I, I could see both sides to it. He could be doing both. He could be playing with both options right there in the song, but um, interesting, interesting. Let's hear more. This a pandemic. But we don't listen to the news because they lied to us for years. So how we know that this is the truth? And most of us are young enough to think that we're immune. So we just pass it on to people who won't survive it like you. It's either. He's, 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 he's hitting these different sides again. He's doing the whole, oh, this side or this side. And trying to make you like have that knee jerk reaction of like, well, oh, now he's talking about some shit I don't believe in. Now I'm mad. He's trying to find that in you. Like even that right there, like. Knowing what we know now, we can obviously disagree with some of the statements of the science of who spreads it and what and all that stuff. He didn't really say anything, I don't think, that was outlandishly wrong. But he, he's playing with all sides of this argument and just the whole frenzy around it. Because that's what it was, it was a frenzy. So he's going to keep throwing out these different comments that might make you go, um, wait a second, um, wait a Like, he does that on purpose. He's very smart about doing that. But that comment about the news, that comment about the news is, is so true. That's so true. It's like... Why would we turn to the news when we know that they've just been lying to everybody for a long time now? They're like, you can't even trust the news. What else are you gonna do? Like, what, you can't, we're not gonna watch that now. Like, that's where I'm supposed to go for information? A lot of people have a hard time with that. They've lost so much credibility that I don't think they can ever come back from it. I don't know. I mean, some people still fall for it, but you know what I mean to the news because they lied to us for years so how we know that this is the truth and most of us are young enough to think that we're immune so we just pass it on to people who won't survive it like you it's either worse than they're telling us or it's nothing at all but the school shut down a ghost town in the mall they go quarantine the city block the road out of dodge then tell us leaving our homes is actually breaking the law mm. this is just the beginning you know it's gotta get worse if the doctors get sick the hospitals won't work the conspiracy theories all sound like facts that's for sure but the fact is we're trapped on this planet called earth and the bleach gone the bread gone the water's sold out the meat gone the milk gone the pasta sold out don't leave anything for anyone you hoard it for yourself you'd rather tell them go to hell than be a man and go and help ah, so, so i think he might be doing that little bit of duality like i was guessing with he's kind of oh yeah we're all sticking together but there's still some that are not doing that that he's kind of having that sarcasm towards but that's a good point even like he's like saying you know the conspiracies out they sound like they might be true but put that aside for a second like at that point the current situation of like hey you know, this physical thing, these, this, this food, water, these actual things, no matter what caused it, here's where we are right now. You can't ignore that. You can go off and do, you know, say it was this or say it wasn't this or, you know, bicker and bicker about what led to it, why it could have been stopped. Look, point blank at that time, it was, hey, the actual concrete things that you can actually gauge where everybody's, you know, surviving by, food, water, stuff, like, that's kind of the one that everybody should have been focusing on, or not even focusing on, but should have acknowledged first. That should be the first thing that's like, hey, this, this thing, um, hello. <laughs> but I really liked it. I wasn't expecting this angle from him on this, but I mean, at the time, it was probably, it was really needed to hear. He's pointing out the stuff that people really, or at least a lot of people, were not really acknowledging or maybe thinking about in that certain angle, I suppose. Tell him go to hell, then be a man and go and help. It's a ghost town, we're in this together They're closing all the stores down, we're heading for shelter It's all war now, they'll always remember We're locking all our doors down, we're sticking together We're hoping for the best, but we're preparing for the worst mm. There's one thing we're not scared of, it's hard work we're up against an enemy that doesn't have a face There's no bombs we can drop, there's nowhere we can aim There's no soldiers to stop with a tank at the gates There's no cure that we've got or a pill we can take There's no food, it's been bought, the truth is we're afraid We sit inside our rooms and we pray It's a ghost town, we're in this together They're closing all the stores down, we're heading for shelter It's all war now, they'll always remain Nova, great job, great job, Nova.
and Tom. Um, okay, okay. So I guess he really wasn't taking the angle of saying, hey, everybody's being like, I don't think in the hook he was necessarily trying to bring up the sarcastic point. Maybe I was reaching for that a little bit. I don't know. But he, even though he did bring it up during the verse, I don't think that was the overarching message of the song. But I understand what he was saying. Like, do, do your part, be smart. And at that point, it was like, look, everybody at that point, nobody really knew what was going on. So that sentiment was, was needed to be heard more than it realized. People were like, this is, like he said, it was a war. Like we can't, we, it doesn't have a face. We can't drop bombs on it. So we've got to stick together, and it's got to be like you've got to start treating it with credibility. Whether or not you, you know, you can sit there and say it was caused by this. Like again, it could have been prevented by this. It could have been stopped by this. This is why it's happening. Point blank is that it was happening, and that was what he was trying to point out. And again, I think a very, you know, I, I didn't really. I mean, the song. I don't. That was less about the actual musical side on that song. At least for me, I wasn't like crazy about it. But I think it was again one of those ones that's. The message was what he was trying to spread. That kind of actual, you know, hey, stop for a second. Think about this shit logically. No matter what you're trying to go off on your tans and try to be the one that's solved it or figured it all out. Look, dude, right now, here's where we're at. Take it serious. He approached that in a very smart way, I thought. In a way that people could all understand and appreciate. And it's also somewhat neutral, I think, in a lot of, like, the way that it's broken down of, like, you don't have to go all the way over here. You don't have to go all the way over here. Let's just all focus on the main thing, which a year later is even funny hearing this stuff and, you know, remembering where it was versus now where we could look back and be like, um, probably some of it was over the top, the way a lot of it was reacted to, um, allegedly. But at the end of the day, you got to work with the information that you have. And that's what he was reminding people. Here's what we know. Deal with this. <laughs> Stick together. And a beautiful message is always from Tom. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I had a good time just trying to hear what his perspective was at the time and what he was trying to really spread as a message during this whole situation when it was first like strongly developing at that point in March or February, March. So it's cool to see. It's cool to see in a year now how much has changed. And he called a lot. He definitely you know saw a lot of it coming. That's why I want to know what that time machine is, Tom. Just another good show of him being able to say, hey, let's start a conversation about this. Instead of this and this, let's start a conversation about this. And this is in a totally different light than race relations and stuff like that. It's it's its own unique thing, and I, I'm really I really have a lot of respect for him for doing it. Another great one, as always, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I can't wait to see you guys Friday. We know he's dropping something crazy Friday, bubble wrapping himself and all kinds of stuff. So we'll see what's going on with that. But I'll plan on being here on Friday for that new song to get a video out for you guys. And we're all gonna see what he's coming with now. As always, guys, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. I hope you're having a good day, good week, good month, good whatever you're having right now. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap.